Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please prefer a friend. Today we're going to be looking at the Moving Average Convergence Divergence, also known as the MACD or the MACD. This is a technical tool used by a lot of traders and it's a very uh, powerful tool and has a lot of information in it. So this is going to be a two-part video series where the first video in the series will discuss all the elements of the MACD and what it's telling you and then the second part will show you how to trade with it. Okay, The second video in the series will show you how to trade with it. Okay, So what is this and how does it work? Well it's what its name sounds like. The moving average convergence divergence. The moving averages used in the MACD are two exponential moving averages the 12 day and the 26 day or 12 period and 26 period. And those numbers are right there 12 and 26. Uh, that's the default setting that most people will use. Very common uh, to be uh, seen on people's charts. Uh, you can alter them for shorter time frames or uh, you know make them larger numbers for um, longer time frames but most people would simply just use them as they are and I recommend you do that until you actually understand uh, you know everything there is to know about the MACD so what is the MACD's uh, line itself there's a lot of information being uh, portrayed here so let's go over it piece by piece in little baby steps uh, the MACD line is this black uh, line that you see right here its uh, wavy line moves up and down uh, and that line is actually uh, the difference between the 12-day exponential moving average and the 26-day exponential moving average. That's all that is uh, telling you. Uh, and the way it's figured is uh, basic math. You just subtract one from the other and you, you conclude the actual point here. Whenever those two lines are at touching uh, each other, just before they cross over, when they're touching, you will see that the MACD will be on this black line you see right here this is known as the zero line and that is telling you that there is zero price difference between those two because the moving averages are touching and therefore the MACD line will be on the zero line okay this over here you see a positive numbers and then reported over here in negative numbers when the 12 day uh, is above the 26 day exponential moving average uh, it is considered a bullish and therefore when you're in that situation the MACD will be above the zero line reporting in positive numbers when the situation is reversed and the 12 day uh, falls below the 26 day exponential moving average it is considered bearish and that why as why you're going to be seeing it reported in negative numbers now that we understand the MACD line itself we know that uh, what it's reporting whenever it's uh, reporting a high number uh, we know that there's a, a larger uh, divergence uh, between the two uh, exponential moving averages on price chart that's what the convergence divergence is all about here we're having a divergence they're going away from one another all right and here we have convergence which are coming closer to one another okay we also now know that anytime the MACD line crosses the zero line this is the zero line again <clears throat> this is the MACD line this black line when it crosses there it crosses the exact same point that the 12-day exponential moving average crosses the 26-day and depending which way it crosses it we know whether it was a bearish cross or a bullish cross the next item we have making up the MACD indicator would be the nine period exponential moving average this number nine right here is what that uh, is reflecting and that is this uh, red line that you see right here. It is simply an exponential moving average uh, placed uh, over the MACD so that you get what's known as a signal line. That's what that is. Okay, this red line right here is a signal line, also known as a trigger line. And we'll show you how that benefits traders by explaining it in another way. Let's assume for a moment that you wanted to trade uh, based on the crossover of these two uh, EMAs when you have a situation where the 12 day or the 12 period crosses below uh, the 26 period it's considered bearish but in this situation this has already happened this sell-off right here has already happened before you get this uh, indication and that is because moving averages of any kind are lagging indicators and so you are uh, at a disadvantage from a timing perspective uh, to wait for the cross there and so if you were to say wait for this and start shorting now you've already missed half of this move so 
the MACD was developed, and you can see that when the MAC, let me clean that up again, when the MACD line crosses its nine uh, period exponential moving average, it's an early warning that you're likely to about to see a cross like that. All right, when it crosses to the downside, it's warning that you're going to be seeing a cross to the downside of the 12 period exponential moving average uh, crossing below the 26 period exponential moving average. So that kind of gives you uh, an early warning that it's going to come and that can help you because you can then start doing your selling here as opposed to way down here, right? The last element on the MACD is the histogram. These light blue colored bars that you see here is the histogram and it is reflecting the difference between uh, the MACD uh, line and its signal line. So it's analyzing that, okay? And it's giving you an early warning of before they're going to see an MACD cross of the um, signal line, the nine period signal line. So that's just another step uh, of earlier warning that this thing is coming, okay? But you need to keep that in mind that it's an order of operation. First thing that you will see uh, trend down will be, let me clean that up, the first thing you'll see trend down uh, will be the histogram. Then you will see the cross of the MACD line crossing the uh, signal line. And then you will see the actual cross on uh, the um, um, exponential moving averages, which is the exact same time that you will see the MACD line crossing the zero line. So there's three different things being reflected right there. Um, but there's an order of operation and one's going to happen before the next and then that one will happen before the next. That's important to note when you get to the actual trading aspect of it because a lot of guys will look at the divergence on a histogram and then look you know, and say, okay, well, I'm going to start shorting now or start buying now depending on the type of divergence. And they'll find that they're very, very early or their timing's off. And that's because you're, you're using the order of operation without thinking about where you are in that overall uh, timing situation. Typically, you'll see the histogram begin to warn of a breakdown before you actually get it uh, in price activity. So, you know, you're being really early if you're just looking at the histogram. We'll get into that in the next video. But and now you understand the full um, information that's being portrayed to you on the situation that you have uh, of the uh, MACD. Now, remember that zero line. Uh, the positive and negative is going to be true with anything. It's anytime you're seeing information portrayed to you in a positive or a negative light, it's telling you something. So when you see the histogram itself uh, showing a positive situation, then you know that the MACD line is still above the signal line, the red line. And when you see it reported in a negative uh, below the zero line, the, hi the histogram bars are below the zero line, then you know that during that time period, you have a situation where the uh, MACD line is actually below its signal line. So a lot of information is being portrayed here. Okay, a quick recap. If you now understand what the MACD line is reflecting, if you understand what the zero line is reflecting, if you understand what this red or uh, signal line is for and what it's reflecting, and you understand what the histogram is and what it's reflecting, and you understand the actual negative numbers and the positive numbers and why that's important, and you can further understand the concept that you have a order of operations where the histogram will signal one thing, then the uh, cross of the MACD and its signal line will signal another thing, and then the actual cross of the MACD and the zero line will signal yet another thing. If you understand all those concepts, then you can now uh, start to contemplate trading on the MACD signals that you may be getting. So go ahead and watch the second video series now, okay? Thank you for your time. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit loss or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.